To ensure all deadlines are met, everyone on a project team should be aware of all meetings, internal reviews, project milestones, and submittals. Fortunately, BIM 360 team provides a dedicated calendar to keep track of all project-related events. In this session, we'll learn how to take advantage of the calendar feature. As you can see, I'm in a BIM 360 team project. We can see the directory structure right here. It's important to note that when we're viewing the directory structure, we are actually leveraging the data view of the project. We can see that right here in the upper right corner of the interface. Notice just to the right of data is a calendar button. I'm going to select this. Using this calendar, I can review and schedule all of the events specific to this project. You can see there's a couple events here already. If I hover over these, I can see more information in the form of a tooltip. To navigate the calendar, we have some familiar tools. There's an overall calendar view over here to the left. I can jump from one month to the other using these arrows below. I can do the same thing using these arrows to the upper right. No matter where I am, I can jump back to today's date by clicking the Today button. Let's scroll down. We can see today right here. Let's add an event to the calendar. We'll assume there's been a public meeting scheduled for the 21st of October. To add the event, I could click the blue Add button or I could simply click inside the date of the scheduled meeting. I will then give this event a title. We'll call this Public Meeting. The start date will be the date I selected. If I wanted to, I could click in here and change that. The start time, we're going to make this 6 o'clock p.m. It will end the same day, one hour later. If I wanted the meeting to run longer, I could click in here and select a new time. Likewise, I could enter the time of my choice here. We'll say the meeting is going to occur at the Village Hall. Note there's also a More button. I could use this if I'd like to add an event description. I'm going to do that. When I'm finished with the description, I'll click to save the calendar event. We can see that shows up right here. If I select the event, we'll see the additional description. If I wanted to, I could use the Edit option to make changes to this event. For right now, I'm going to click the X to close it. The nice thing about this event is that when I created it, everyone associated with the project was notified via email. The email received would look just like this. Note that in addition to the email, we also get this ICS file. If I double click on this, I can add the meeting to my local calendar. I'll do that by clicking yes, and then I'll choose save and close. Now that I'm finished saving the meeting locally, let's return to BIM 360 team. At this point, I'm finished reviewing the project calendar. To return to the direct review, I'll come up and click the data button. So the next time you need to schedule a project-related event, consider using BIM 360 Teams calendar feature. It can be a one-stop shop for reviewing and scheduling all the important events associated with your project. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.